Dangerous Vision, the podcast, live recording with Wick Grosbeck and Randy Cohen. And I try to find people that I would instinctively follow and want them to, uh, want their approval, basically, is one way to put it. You, you care what they think about you. Mm. You respect them enough, and you don't want them to be disappointed. And I think that's one way to view a coach is someone who knows what they're doing. So he's got all the X's and O's. He's brilliant. He knows the plays. He knows, I mean, he's got, you know, he's got a way of, but he, he takes every player, gets to know them as a person, builds relationships with them, cares about them, clearly cares about them, and they care about him and what he, they think. He thinks, and he says, look, guys, relax. Do what you do best. I'm going to put you in positions where you can succeed. You do what you do best. You don't have to do what you do terribly. We've got other people who can do that. You know, if you're not shooting threes, you know, well, don't worry about it. We'll have somebody else shoot the threes. Or, or if you, well, in this day and age, or you'll be cut, is actually. Right <laughs> but, uh, don't worry about it. You, you know, you can be, you know, you can go work somewhere else. But, um, but the point is that, but he does all of that in a way that you just don't want him to say, oh no, I mean, I'm disappointed in you. And, and you just care. And there's some people you care more than others. And so, you know, I would follow Doc Rivers, you know, into fire. Mm -hmm. uh, I follow, follow Brad Stevens in the party. They're just, they have those qualities. But whatever it is about Brad, you look at his record here, six years, six years plus, he has coached more guys through career years yeah. than anybody else. I so it's not just, it's not just really, it's his X and O's, but it's his, it's his ability to get those players, you know, in the positions where they can succeed and then that they want to, you know, work like maniacs to succeed. I mean, yeah. it's, the, our, our practice facility was full all summer long with half to two-thirds of our team every single day when they're supposedly on vacation. Mm -hmm. They're in there working just to get ready for Brad's training camp. 